From Democrat congresswoman for Democrat presidential candidate now to Trump camp and a transition team member, Tulsi Gabbard from Hawaii. Actually, Tulsi, this is incredible. Your transition from one end of the spectrum to the other. What in along that route made you flip? <laughs> Uh, that, that's a big question, but it's, it's a question that, that uh, a lot of Americans can relate to who've walked a, a similar path where, you know, the Democrat Party that I joined over 20 years ago, that was once the big tent open party that welcomed people with all different views and backgrounds that celebrated and defended free speech. Uh, it was the party of the working people fighting for uh, men and women across this country, a party that defended civil rights and civil liberties. Uh, now, when you look at today's Democrat Party, it stands for the exact opposite in just about every one of those areas. And today's Republican Party, under the leadership of President Trump, has also changed very much to the point where it is now, as we've seen in this election, the big open tent party that's welcomed me and Bobby Kennedy and Elon Musk and so many Americans who either are Democrats or who have left the Democrat Party looking for a home in a party that is now the party of the people, the party of common sense, the party of secure borders, the party of peace. You know, President Trump is the, the first Republican president in my life who's really demonstrated through his first term in office and, and what he is continuing to promise to the American people to be that president who has the strength and courage uh, to stand up and fight for peace, to end wars, not start them. You know, it's interesting, Congresswoman, um, you know, the first question is that everyone talks and, and about, you know, about you changing parties and stuff. Actually, as I was sort of sitting here listening to you talk, and I've covered you for, you know, 15 years from when you were here in Washington, I don't know that you have changed. I think what has happened is that the party changed because I'm going through my mind to think whether I have a list of, you know, Tulsi Gabbard said something one year and said something another year. I don't, you know, and, and I, I could Google a little bit for it, but I'm not so sure you've changed. Yeah, Greta, you're right. You know, the, the nuances of different policies and challenges, sure. You know, how we tackle uh, the health care, the sick care crisis we face in this country. Uh, you know, I think we should always look towards how do we find the best solutions for these. But when you look at the biggest and most important principles and fundamentals, uh, no, they have not changed. I have not changed. I've always been an independent-minded person who puts the interests of the American people and our country first. Uh, and that is rooted really in what is most fundamentally different between Kamala Harris and President Trump. And those are the principles of freedom, our God-given rights and freedoms enshrined in the Constitution. And no matter how many times Kamala Harris claims to be the person who is a defender of freedom, uh, the, the reality is that she has a proven record over these last four years of being an administration that actively is trying to censor our free speech, that is weaponizing our government's, government institutions uh, to, to uh, in acts of political retaliation against people like myself, like Donald Trump, like Matt Taibbi and others, simply for exercising our right to free speech. Uh, this is why I believe so strongly, and this is the message we've been carrying across the country as I've been campaigning, urging voters to support Donald Trump is that this election is not about Democrats or Republicans or left versus right or simple disagreements on how to solve some of the challenges we face. It goes much deeper than that in that, very simply, Kamala Harris, uh, a Kamala Harris presidency would be a presidency of tyranny, more poverty and hardship and yeah. war and more war, whereas President Trump's candidacy and his record is about freedom and peace and prosperity. Yeah. Do you want more government, less government? I think that's what it comes down to. Tulsi Gabbard, pleasure to have you right. on as always.